Hello and welcome to the learning episodes of pharmacy. Today we are going to evaluate, uh, see the demo practical for determination of extractive value under the subject pharmacognosy and phytochemistry practical. I am Dr. Payal Rahul Dandri from Department of Pharmacognosy from SPKM's NMIMS SPTM Shilpur campus. So as we see the contents that are there in our practical, usually those which are mentioned in the journal. So we start with writing an aim, then talking about the requirements and the reference from where we are going to follow the procedure. The principle or the rational behind doing uh, this particular practical. We will also see the observation and the results. So basically I have also added a demo video of the whole method, whole procedure that we are going to use for determination of extractive value in the uh, in this PowerPoint. So you will be able to see all that in the demo form. Okay. So moving on. These are the major requirements that we are going to use for determination of extractive value. And the procedure is being taken from Indian Pharmacopoeia. So let us see what is extractive value. It is the amount of extractive that a drug yields uh, by using a particular solvent on dry weight basis. Usually it helps us to understand the chemical constraints that are present in a particular crude drug. Or sometimes based on the solvent and the polarity of the solvent, we will be getting some related or group of chemical constraints that are present in the drug that we can evaluate. Okay. So let us now understand what is the importance of this particular evaluation. So it helps us in evaluating the quality purity uh, of a particular drug also helps in the detection of adulteration. So if the uh, if the total extractive value is below uh, the stated amount uh, on the dry weight basis that is percent weight by weight then we say that the drug is impure or it does not have a good quality or if it is uh, more than it could there is possibility that some other drugs are being also added into it so in these are the following ways in which you can actually detect detect the adulteration so that's the importance of this practical Beside this, you also get an idea of the different chemical constraints that are present in a drug. And uh, one of the reasons why we evaluate this is when chemical or biological methods are not available, this could give us a good amount of knowledge. So these are, these are the uh, reasons why we evaluate extractive value of a crude drug. Now, uh, let us see. See, there are various solvents uh, which are available for extraction of a particular drug. So right from hexane, benzene, chloroform, up to water but uh, the procedure that has been mentioned in Indian pharmacopoeia is using the these three important particular uh, solvents that is water 95 percent alcohol and ether and we'll see the reason why are we using this three as the major solvents for evaluating the extractive value in the slides to come so water as you all know is the most preferable solvent because it is safe it is easily available it's economic uh, so that is the reason why water should be used as an ex uh, solvent for extractive value. Beside this, uh, as water is polar in nature, most of the constituents that it can extract are polar in nature similarly, right? So it can actually extract tannins, sugars, glycosides, plant acids and mucilage. So over here, I have given some examples, you know, those which are already the extractive value, which are already been standardized and they are listed in the standard journals and the book. So that is being mentioned over here so that whenever we do uh, the extractive value for aloe vera, I can actually go and refer this particular extractive values that are mentioned in standard journal and see if my aloe vera is uh, pure quality uh, product as well as does not contain adulteration. So all this can be evaluated. Similarly, alcohol is the next preferable solvent after water and beside uh, the other polar compounds which I have already mentioned, it can also extract resins and alkaloids. So the official method, actually alcohol soluble extractive value is also an official method for assay of mead and asafoetida which are the major, major resin that are uh, resin containing uh, crude drugs. Okay. So over here 95% ethyl alcohol is being mentioned to be utilized as solvent. Then the third is ether. We use ether so that we can actually evaluate all the volatile and non-volatile uh, ether soluble extractive value. So uh, ether as we all know is semi-polar and non-polar solvent. 
and it will help us to evaluate and extract uh, volatile oil fixed oil resins uh, coloring compounds some steroids so these are the compounds which can be evaluated using ether as a solvent so that is the reason why we are using this three major solvents for evaluating or determining the extractive value so moving on there are various methods for extraction the two major methods that have been mentioned for uh, performing this particular practical is cold maceration and hot extraction method so today as per ip we are going to utilize cold maceration method this is the overall procedure uh, to conduct the determination first we are going to take 400 4 gram of crude uh, coarsely powdered drug then we'll transfer it to 250 ml conical flask we'll add 100 ml of solvent uh, we will add uh, three different solvent we are going to take three different conical flask three drugs we will be taking and accordingly three solvent so first would be water second would be alcohol third would be ether then we need to shake intermittently so that we make sure that the maceration is uh, completely being done properly being done uh, so you can frequently intermittently uh, can shake it and keep it for 24 hours after 24 hours you can filter the extract and uh, take the filtrate in the beaker now from this uh, filtrate you can uh, measure 25 ml uh, using a measuring cylinder and then put it in a porcelain dish which you have already weighed uh, uh, to get the empty weight of the porcelain dish okay now you have to evaporate uh, this particular extract to dryness on water bath then once it is completely dry on to the water bath uh we will ensure that there are no solvent residue so we will uh, once again dry it in uh, by keeping it in hot air oven at 105 degree centigrade so you need to keep it till it gets completely dried okay then uh, once it gets completely dried in the hot air oven at this particular high temperature then you have to remove it and make sure that you cool it in the by keeping it in the desiccator so that the environmental moisture is not being grabbed by the extract anymore okay so it will actually change the weight so that is the reason why we are cooling it in the uh, cooling it by keeping it in the desiccator finally we will make all the calculation we will actually observe first the empty weight uh, of the porcelain dish and then the weight of the porcelain dish along with the ex dried extract okay so based on this uh, observations we are finally going to calculate the extractive value on the percent weight by weight uh, dry uh, on air dry basis of the crude drug and the results will be reported click this link which is given on the slide and watch the complete youtube video on the process of how to evaluate extractive value each step has been taken in complete detail so you will be able to understand all the things after you complete watching this video uh, you will be able to understand how we have made the observations and taken the weight of powdered crude drug empty porcelain dish and why we have also calculated the weight of porcelain dish along with dried extract after making all these observations we have i have also explained in the video how to calculate the extractive value of the given crude drug in the percent weight by weight air dried basis so hope you have understood the complete uh, practical as to why we perform how do we perform so here are some frequently asked questions which you should be now ready to answer so take your notebook and start writing the answers justification for different types of questions that i have given listed over here these are the questions usually are being asked even in the viva or synopsis okay and if you have any further query you can ask me on or you can mail me on this mail id uh, pal.dandriya.nmms.edu till then uh, stay safe stay healthy and uh, this is dr pal rahul dandri signing off take care